Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Week 5 recap for the CCL, the Combined Championship League. I am one of your hosts, V-Sing, but I am not alone as usual. We have my two co-hosts. Introduce yourselves. I'm conscious. Hello. Hello, guys and girls. I'm Demon O'Jim. Oh, I'm the, I don't know why I expected your hello to go longer. I picked up my drink, but never mind. <laughs> um, uh, our guest this week to discuss his battle is the co-coach, one of the co-coaches of the Baltimore Bird Knights. Um, what do you go by, Jakeem? Because we keep saying like Jakeem 12 or whatever. What do you What do you want to go by? Just call me your boy Jakeem or Jakeem. I don't go by Leah. <laughs> Jakeem, okay. Yeah. Well, Jakeem slash Jake is here. Hi, guys. How That was bad, but hi, guys. Anyway, uh, we have news regarding one of the coaches but we will get to it when we get to their battle however the first battle this week was between our guest and one of our co-coaches uh the baltimore bird mice jakeeb and his co-coach oh. ben slash yuga Plutamia. and myself i'm just head coach yeah. of the evergreen electros hello again. and, and uh, excuse hey, me think... coach. yeah uh, excuse me think for and conscious now for the slip up both saying co-coaches and meant co-commentators. Yes. Yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> Is it like last week, like the outro, or the the, the <laughs> blooper? No, nah, we're fine. Yeah, Let's we're keep, fine. Keep it going. Yeah. So, here it um, goes. Okay, so I'm gonna preface this now. I saw the. I knew the. Thunderous was carrying Thunder Wave. I predicted that a long time ago. So I bought. In particular, my Needle Queen and my Electros to counter it. I give props to Jake and Ben. They bought Bandit. Bandit, um, Garm this week. Mm hmm. Scarf was too predictable. Do. So. And yeah. Also, going on, if I may preface, first of all, before the battle was going in, this was a battle really late at night, cruising both me and Conscious. So, take it, I was terrified because. Of Conscious's previous record in um in previous um history in league format, so he was a huge threat. I did carry the Ice Berry on the um on the Flygon to make sure I lived the hit from Kiram and um the Keldeus Icy Wind so I could live hit and get off extra damage, as well as carrying the Tech of Psychic specifically for the Nido Queen because I was like Nido Queen's a free swap into Thunderous. Yeah, no, and the battle just kind of carried on with that. He got rid of my Thunderous and I swapped in Slowbro for the easy Psychic, and that was the 4-0 victory. Pretty simple, kind of went really fast. We both brought really hyper offensive teams. Yeah. So. He played well. I just got a chance to set up with Thunderous, and then having the hidden um, Psychic kind of screwed him over. Yeah, that, that's a pattern in the le um, since the uh, league started. Yeah. Set ups is the way to win. Well, I wasn't going to say that. I was going to say I've noticed a trend, and myself included, most of us are overlooking uh, the variety that certain Pokemon have available to them as far as moves. Yeah. Yeah. Because a lot of us are still like, oh, it's a Thunderous, for example. <laughs> it's just going to have the usual, like, oh, Volt Switch, Charizard. Thunderbolt. Yeah. yeah. But we're forgetting in a league format, you specifically have moves for specific things. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Um, and then I, if I may, just one more thing and then we can move on. Um, I feel like we, me and Conscious, did talk after the battle because, like, I did get a crit onto the, um, onto the, um, me and Chow, which was a kill, but we looked up Calcs. Like, it was a roll, I think, in my favor to, um, even, I think it was my roll, a roll in my favor to still one shot. So the crit might have not have mattered, even if it didn't, the outcome of the battle would not have changed. The differential might have been a little different, though. No, yeah, I bought a Silent Berry Me and Chow. Just try something new, Indoor Silent Berry Me and Chow. Uh, forget it. Uh, let's move on to the next battle. And yeah. But what, uh, yeah. Is, what is your guys' record now? Uh, so my, you go first, Conscious. I have two or three in the. My first, the cluster of two and three people. Um, uh, my record is four and one right now. Okay. So the next battle is our senior Lee, uh, with the Cherry Grove Charizard <coughs> against the surprise battler Cyrus with the Mirror Lake Machados. Uh, and preference this, Cyrus is still undefeated. Yeah, I know it's scary. Yeah, at this point he's undefeated. Yeah. So. Him and uh, Kendra. Yep. And he bought the scary. same shuckle again. But I give props to Lee. He figured out something that all of us forgot about. This electric terrain stops sleep. Which that's a big thing in the shuckle set. 
is the um yeah he couldn't rest off the damage yeah or the, uh, toxic, yeah. Or the toxic yeah well yeah. and also lee kind of watched <laughs> our recap uh, recaps and um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, he uh, took some of our advice to heart, I would say. Yep. For also, sure. Also, I'm going to preface this now. For Lee's big brain play, he made a really small brain play because he, he he didn't look at speeds, max speeds and stuff like that, which the memo outsped the, the, um, the Volcano, so he kind of sacked off his... Nita, uh, his Kingdra unnecessarily. Yeah, I agree with that. And that stash. Yeah, I know. I did not expect the stash. I will be honest. And this is not the first time uh, a Nine Tails has had did something this week. Also, this is another play I question Lee about because that thing is lightning rod. So yeah. Yeah, there, there, there was an audible gasp from all of us watching when he clicked mm -hmm. discharge on the Alola Marowak. Yeah, because we, yeah. Yeah, um, that that was when I was back then co-coach with Cyrus. I said, we have electric problems, so we should have uh, like um, the Heliolisk or the, the Lightning Rod on that. Yeah. But yeah, basically the summary for that battle is Cyrus became almost somewhat dependent on that shuckle and yeah and he it's, it's, ha he had got... he had no clue about the coco <laughs> yeah. yeah i didn't like even like even like i've been battling for a while but i completely forgot the direction the terrain puts people that you we, can't sleep we, we've learned that a lot of people forget about the terrain stuff the terrains are going to be a big vital factor going forward i think i agree it's just like it was scary because it's like, wait a minute. Did you like, did he try? Did he? I didn't get a chance to watch. Did he try the rest in that battle? And it didn't work. Uh, uh, no, he he was aware of it. He knew. Yeah, he probably tried to get aggressive. He, and, he, he yeah. just forgot. Like, I think yeah. he always knew, but he just forgot going into the battle that that was a thing. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Um. Next battle. Uh. I'll one of through. one of the undefeated teams is gone. Yeah. Now we have uh, Grids. Lee has slayed a beast. Grids, uh, Grids versus Kendra. <laughs> the uh, Savari's own stun fasks. Co coached by KLG24601. And, and Logan Kenimer, our friend, formerly Awkward Primpo. And versus. Is, uh, Grids, co coach of the Pedora Pikachu's alongside Max, which I think is new as Kithy Kith. Your boy Kithy Kith. Uh, no, it's just, it's just Kithy. Kithy. Is this Kithy? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm more Max, yeah. Who changes that every five minutes? So, yeah. There you go. Literally. Yeah, this 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 battle was interesting. I would say. Yeah, uh, Grids kind of was hoping for Willow miss because she had missed a Willow. This thing would have been dead, and Grids would have been a lot better spot going forward. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, well, there's still the the I think still the Ataria with only one setup could have done much damage to the crocodile. Well, I, I think it wasn't burn. Grids could uh, switch out and preserved it for later on the battle, and yeah. he even swept. And like for example, if she, I think in retrospect, because Grids Grids mistake mistakenly he said he mistakenly forgot that Dragon Dance raises speed as well. So yeah. probably when Altara came in, he should have probably immediately went into his um. That looks. No, like a massacre. Yep, it's GG. It's, he's got swap. He should have went to Cabalion as soon as she switched in because she got one Dragon Dance up, and Cabalion's defense is high enough where it could have probably lived an Earthquake and then Iron hit the shit out of this thing. Yeah. Um. One thing, if I may say one thing, one thing I've noticed about how Kendra's been winning, and like v touched on earlier in the recap during m me and your battle. Um. Set up sweet. The fact that setup keeps working. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. It's not just like it's not just like a one-time thing. It's like it keeps, especially with Kendra. I'm pretty sure every battle, but like one, has been won by her either saying up her Salazzle going in or her Altarian going in yes it has okay um that's why Hayes. i don't know if grids brought Hayes. um no he didn't he he kind of messed up but yeah next battle okay. uh we have boat mcgoat uh co-coach of the las vegas routines alongside my partner he, one of our partners here demon ojm yeah <laughs> versus Hiram hunter yep. uh head coach of the mistralton mandibus i remember this time trent fuck you okay <laughs> <laughs> 
um, it was oh, and this was an interesting battle as well because this uh, uh, Bell was one of our winless teams, and she had some confidence after her last two good battles. So let's see if she can pick up a W. Yeah, let's see. That'd be cute. I think we all like. I know we're not supposed to be not biased here, but I was definitely rooting for her in this scenario. I will say this now. This I shout out to Demon and Bell because that that um he he tran threw us off for a while because we thought it was either <laughs> a, a scarf for a uh, while. Yeah. And what was the item? Or wait, let's talk. It was it was uh I think it was Shuck was it Shuckaberry? Whatever the ground berry was. Yeah, it's the Shuckaberry. Shuckaberry he tran. And they played off the scarf like amazingly. We all thought it was scarf up until the end. Yeah, and um our hit on top was the nice wall to most of the stuff. Especially yeah. with the Intimidate. Exactly, like that thing's like a CM. Uh, kinda, it, it came up to this point, we were like, wait, why <laughs> is that much damage? And like, oh shit, it's a Shuckaberry, wait a minute. Like we all, we're, our, my, my mouth watching this battle, like when it was happening, my mouth literally dropped, like my jaw dropped. So also, also, the, the just the sheer smart move on Bell there, not mega evolving and trying to get the free Moxie all. That's uh, that there. that is one of the strategies that I uh, told mm -hmm. her to get the Moxie off before mega evolving, mega so evolving, that he yeah. have boost. Mm -hmm. And here again, the intimidate for the physical attacker. Were you were you guys a physical wall? Um, yeah. Um, oh, I think, weren't your AV, though? Yeah, but uh, the Hoopa uh, took magician. With, with the Magician, yeah. This is not the first time Magician has came into play in this, in this league. I, I'm really, really scared of Magician Mons now. And here, a surprise! <laughs> yeah, this threw me off. Fucking, um, sub, fucking, sub, Regenerate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is evil. It's like sublichi. That's a thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and and here is why we didn't feel the the venom off because we put psychic, uh, specific for the poison types. Yeah. He had the trigger. Do you quiver? I'm actually not too sure. I don't think uh, he had quiver. If he had quiver, they they would have been a lot more scary. But yeah, he is set up, and then we did it, not sweep the same. Yeah, but... it, it, it was pretty much a stall battle here. Who would die with a battle of nutrition first? Um, in which I, you, you know what? A little bit of a, a funny side fact because we set this up to be an uh, setup mon. Mm -hmm. uh, we put like one hundred points less in special attack and more in defense. That. It's one mm -hmm. of the reasons why it takes so well the gyro balls. Oh, okay. That's smart. That's smart. I get in even that. It's smart. Very smart. And that's the explosion. Yep. Which I'm not gonna lie, I'm sad because I gotta fight. I gotta fight this team eventually after <laughs> midseason. Which I, I got I'm, lucky and I fought it early. Which I I'm not too upset about having to fight them again. Fight them because my teams look a lot better after midseason. Same. Uh, ours will look as well. But uh, the, the thing is, I know that the Zero Aura was scarfed, but yeah. the SF that we had was max HP, a little bit defense, max uh, attack. I did not calc yet, but I think it would have survived. Okay. And it, had, yeah. and, and it had the emergency uh, button explosion on it. First, can I just so say the bell in the first one? Yeah, yeah. so, so uh, like I said, the poison, I think, would have not mattered. It didn't matter regardless, he had nothing to take down the Amoongus. Yeah. yeah. Oh, next but, Yeah, congrats to Bell and Demon. First win. Yeah. <laughs> and I already have some interesting setups, maybe for the next battle. <laughs> and, and this is next, why I'm glad I already fought you. Uh, the next battle we have... Our my co-commentator VC HB head coach of the Mungai 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 Marie. Stop pronouncing the V. Mungai Mungai 
Stop Why? Bald guy. Bald guy. Bald guy. Bald guy. Bald guy. Bald guy. Okay. <laughs> and then she, he is fighting the trio of Joe, Fisticuffs. The, the, the Job, uh, the trio of Job, Marty, and Tebow, coaches of the Vanzelt Wiesings. This Weasings. was predominantly a team built by Tebow. He put in all the work. That's a lie. This is a team built by Job. I know this for a fact. <laughs> My, well, my biggest point out, can I say something a little bit? You know, that, that, that was the surprise of this battle. Yeah, <laughs> DC and Thoreau got thrown off by Marty. It was the funniest thing in the world. Like, wait, wait, yeah, he had, he had no reason to stay in. It's Marty. He it's forgot. Get the, dude. Yeah, but knockoff still hurts. No, the thing is, it's Marty. They're right. It's Marty. You do not. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I had the Kasi Barry on the Jirachi. It was my answer for Sars Dance Mimikyu. Also, the x bard was scrappy to take them to dis disguise because I didn't honestly I expected Mari to not think about it. Honestly, like as soon as I saw his team, I was not worried in the slightest because okay. nothing could handle the Fini. Um, can I say one thing real quick? Um, so, um, with the um Necrozma set, if the one thing I'd say to Marty, learn how to use your Necrozma. That thing is a beast if you use it right no he played fine with the cosmo he did the right I'm... thing he, he bought a move set that worked against vsync team decently mm -hmm. and the thing is he took it he took our advice in, into advantage because last time he bought set the cosmo and you don't always have to break set the cosmo you can bring a bulky a bulky offensive the cosmo i think that's what that was bulky offensive the cosmo probably because it seemed it like, i didn't really get to see how much it did but yeah they just didn't prep for the Feeny, and I think that was their downfall in this battle. Yeah, uh, like I said, as soon as I saw those six months, I was like, Feeny just sits in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I say all of the Tapus are really He's scary. scary. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree with that. They're threatening. Also, I would say Blue would be more scary if he got a stab physical fairy move, but no. So, yeah. Next battle. We have next our, battle our, is... We have our last winless team, um... Daniel, who's who's co co coaching the Laverton Leafions with um, German. German versus Wyatt, head coach of the Azalea Agro Agrons, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah, we we went into this battle. I didn't know how it's gonna go. And Daniel, Daniel played well. I can't be mad, at Daniel. Daniel has made some really really bad mistakes in the past. Uh yeah, I question why it's logic with the first two mons. Like, one, why stay in on a scroll of speed that will outspeed you and earthquake you and you will die? Why and two, why set up with Gyarados because this thing will outspeed you? Because it is plus two. <laughs> to be honest, he's really lucky because if that scroll had a rock slide, I think the scroll could have. It would have swept. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not the... Uh, the, the, the Conk think, Elder could yeah, have lived. Yeah, yeah like the Conk might have lived. But, but what can but a Conk Elder do? Yeah. yeah. Not even the Fire Punch could do that. Yeah, so yeah. I'm sorry. Something else we noticed. I, I, if you watch CCL's... This is the question played by Daniel. I don't know why he went into his drama there. Um, why it's Kryptonite is Daniel. Straight up, it's Daniel. Yep. Mm, and Daniel is two two and zero against White. White, yeah, in league format, and I, I I don't know what it is. And to be honest, why he could have made the differential bigger if he had just preserved the extra the Garnivar the uh, Garnivar. No, I mean Daniel, he could have you, preserved his Garnivar after uh, after the hyper voice and went into his Alola mug. Who would have I, the hit yeah, but Dan mind. Daniel's priority was getting a win. You know, yeah. he wanted that win. Yeah, so shout out to Daniel. He got his, he got his first win. Yeah, his, his, his I'm his proud of him. Like, I genuinely am proud of him. And that why, the best I, I don't know what it is about Daniel. Why he's your kryptonite? But okay. Yeah, I, I think it's very similar advice. I have for why that head for ace take your time like yeah See, if you yeah. stop for a minute you would have noticed why am i dragon dancing this thing is plus two, two attack two, and speed, speed yeah. and it'll just keep gaining speed yeah yeah even with my dragon dance i don't outspeed it it gets a plus one every turn anyway there's so. the thing where also, we need the logic of preserving excadrill or not yeah. preserving it. yeah and now uh, we need to uh clarify something oh yeah yes. so um the coach of the new bark nine tails our friend firefly kiri aka erica is dealing with some personal stuff and she contacted us and said i likely won't be able to do the battle so we had to find basically someone to assist for the week so our friend hakeem aka west artist 
you will know him from like Twitch chats. He's a mod pretty much everywhere. Yep. Uh, <laughs> he stepped in very kindly and helped out Erica this week. I don't know if he will be assisting her going forward. That's up to them. I've not yep. been told, but yep. this week he stepped up and he helped her out. So this is a team that he built, he prepped for Hunter, the Missouri Magnitude. So a team if you want to join, you're always welcome. Yeah. Hey. Uh, yeah. This was a big battle too because Hunter was on a was on a really good streak here going into this battle. Uh he was on For a sure. Yeah, he came on a came off a big win against Ace. Yeah. Which I, which I know he was super happy about. Yeah, his only loss has been me. Yeah. So yeah. Also that was weird. The weirded me out was the weakness policy. Yeah. Uh, I saw that and I was like, what? Yeah, because I was going to say, Buzzwall is bulky enough to where he does not win that battle 10 out of 10 times. But here we have something. Also, the first kill, kill of... from Megalopony. <laughs> the Megalopony finally got a fucking kill. Finally. Wait, that's its first kill? Yes. yes. Lord, gee. I mean, that was a nice defog there. I mean, also, my one question, my one question was. Like, why would you allow your Lopini to, like, take the rocks and the Toxic Spike when you could just swap into your, um... Because the boss wall had Beast Boost and needs to be taken care of. And it wasn't a Scar sure. of Buzz wall, and it could have Stone Edge and destroyed you. Okay, that makes sense. So you need to get rid of that Buzz wall ASAP, because Buzz wall setup is already scary enough, so let it sit there too long, it, it will just sweep. But yeah, this is an awesome switch, and yeah, I get, I get, I give a huge shout out to Hakeem preserving his win con, and he knew his win con was that um, Alola Nine Tails. Nine, Alola Nine Tails. He played the, he played it perfectly, which he it kind of threw me off. He bought Scarf Nine Tails. I realized it when he when he outsped the Lottie. Yeah. So yeah, Scarf Nine Tails. It. Yeah, it, it had some damage on it, but he kept it alive as long as he Yeah, he preserved it. He didn't take the fake out. He sacked the oh. uh, Paxers just to keep it 100%, yep. or not 100%, but healthy. And the thing is, Hunter could have, could have, could have tried to preserve this, went into... Yeah, the smart thing would have been sack the Lottie, come in and fake out. Yep, and then try. hopefully he had Quick Attack or something, which I don't think he did. I don't think he did either. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. GG, yeah. shout, out to, shout out to Hakeem for a big W to Erica. Yep. Hey. Hunter, Hunter, you bring the same same odds over and over again. People will see it coming at this point. People see it. You're getting same. predictable. Yeah. You're well, this is the, the same as for Cyrus. He gets predictable yeah. and see what happened. Yep. <laughs> So, um, last battle of the week. Give me go ahead. Uh, it is Ace Arcanine with the Alabaster Arcanines against Kalof Death or Kristen with the Golden Royal Crew Keys. Battle with the two of the more experienced yep. battlers, two of the veterans. Yeah, both have quite a bit of rust. Yeah, as their records dictate. Mm -hmm. I think they're both from one and four going into this battle. Uh, maybe I think, yeah, I, think so. I think I think Kristen was two and two. I thought no, Kristen was one and one and three. Oh, no, uh, it, one and three, one in this battle. Yeah, yeah this Dom, Dom fan didn't die ever. Yeah, no, I, like he, it, it, it didn't even die to the rapid spin. That, yeah, that's, that's, that's unfortunate that her um her tentacle took a lot more necessary damage, but she did the smart thing trying to go away from rocks for the road arm and stuff. Uh, I will say shout out to Kristen the. The Garchomp did seem like it was specifically designed to lead against the Dawn Pan because yeah. of the Ice Shard weakness policy whole plan. Uh, the explosion was there because she was scared of Sceptile and Manaphy. Yeah. So she would go down to Sturdy, then explode and hopefully kill them, which it did do its job. So. Also. Oh, that crit we... was bad. Yeah, a lot of times I was looking at stuff and like it looked like things were living and they, they weren't. It was weird. Yeah, it was, it was like it was like just die already, die, 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 and then nothing just wanted to die from what I noticed. And then the, the superpower of Lando, very nice touch, very nice touch. I'm pretty sure we all assumed at the end it was scarfed. I'm pretty sure. Uh, and I believe it was scarfed, but also that means Aces and Chino was scarfed because it outsped still. 
Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I was thinking about that. I was like, okay. But very good battle. Congratulations, Ace, on being thrown into the two and two and two and three um pool, which is like eight of us stuck in two and three right now. <laughs> um, definitely a good battle though. I had fun watching it. Uh, it was a good battle. Uh here comes the standings for as of week five. Alright, Jacob Boy wants to see where he's at now. Leading the pack is is Kendra followed with by Z. zero losses? Yep, so she needs to go down. Someone beat her. I don't think it's uh, then lie. followed by V Sing, Lee, and Jakeeb. All are 4 hey, 1. Hey. Cyrus, oh, uh, uh, and Cyrus at 4 1. Sorry, you got Hunter at 3 and 2. The 18, the, there's five of us fighting out at 2 and 3, trying to get that 7 to 8 spot. <laughs> followed up by Kristen, uh, Tebow, Marty Joe, Zach, and Sorry, I need to change on that. Bell and Demon and uh, Daniel and Demon, Daniel and German. Now every team has a win, and hopefully Daniel German and Bell and Demon will take the momentum of these big wins and keep pushing up the ladder. Hey, That's Daniel, you gonna face me next though. Yeah, man, he got you, fam. He about to destroy you. Yo, All right, then the battle for the next week. So, he yeah, held the battle for the next week. Uh, next week we got. Uh, Kristen versus Erica, Cyrus versus Tebow, Marty and Job, Hunter versus Lee, uh, V Singh versus Daniel and German, Ooh. Kendra and Logan versus Ace, uh, Jakeeb and Ben versus Grids and Max, myself versus Trent, and Wyatt versus Bell and Demon. Yeah, we will be back next week with another recap with another another host, another coach as a guest. Guest, yep. Ace, you gotta take down the streak. Yeah. It's all on you, Ace. You're Ace, beat her up. Also, it soon we are at round seven, and after round seven, there's the mid-season exchange. We will be more God. likely streaming that on Twitch. Yep. So keep a lookout. Can the kick in the mid-season exchange come quicker? I want to drop some garbage mods off my team. For your whole draft. <laughs> hey, hey this... I'm four and one. I don't want to hear you talking. I cannot wait for you <laughs> to drop the dublade. Such a bad pick. Oh, that's happening. <laughs> so, I mean, what? Definitely not a spoiler. <laughs> I'm getting a better mod instead. Don't worry. Thank God. So, this is the end. Let's take it home, V Sing. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming out. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Don't forget to um, follow all your favorite coaches in the. No, nah, don't do that one. On Twitter. Uh, no. Yeah, follow me. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye, guys.